Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. Yes, I do have a pet alligator and I think my pet alligator needs to get fed today. What do you say we start our day feeding my guy RJ? He's absolutely amazing. Come on, Arj, come on over. Come on, come on, buddy. All the way up. And there he is, look at him, he's just crushing it. He's like, yes. And remember how he used to not eat for me? We kind of broke that bond here over the last few months and he's coming back for more. So let's just go ahead and feed him up a bunch of rats. Come on, buddy. Come on, all the way up. Let's go up, 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 up. Ah, there he is. And you know, alligators need mental enrichment as well. So sometimes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do different things with him to kind of just keep him happy, right? And one of the things I wanna do is I wanna see if I can just maybe hold a rat higher so he has to really come up and work for it a little bit. That's gonna be mental enrichment for him. So I'm gonna get some tongs and we're gonna see if we can't get him to get as high as we possibly can just to give him, again, a little change up from the norm. Okay, Arch, way up, way up, way up, way up, way up. Yo, oh, look at that jump right there. Keep coming, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. All the way up. All the way up, come on buddy. You can do it, all the way up, all the way, come on. Come on, all the way up, all the way up. There you go. He got a little lazy at the end there, but we did get a couple good jumps from him. And again, that's just something that's gonna keep him going. And uh, I love this guy. You guys know how much I love alligators, but RJ is always gonna be my boy. I tell you what, this thing is just an insane animal. I mean, listen. These aren't pets for most people. I always tell people, don't get a baby alligator because they're so cute because they turn into that one day and most people can't handle that. And then they end up going out to rescues and, and guys like Chris Lowe, my friends out at the Chris Lowe Alligator Sanctuary have to deal with hundreds of alligators that people can't. With that being said, you know, from an animal education standpoint, they are incredible. Arch, you want another one? Arch, you want more? Come on, come on over, bud. Come on, come on over, bud. Come on, let's go, let's go. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Yo, and when we do the Reptarium 3.0, which we hope we'll be able to do next year, RJ will be on display all the time and people will be able to interact with him and do things like feeding, maybe even get in the water with him. I'm not 100% sure, but nevertheless, I love starting my day feeding my guy RJ because he's absolutely incredible. But we have a banger of a day, so let's just go ahead and push our problems aside and have a great day together. Another clutch of little Antracia or Pygmy Australian pythons just hatched out. These guys are spotted pythons. And I've talked about before, we've hatched children's pythons, Stimson's pythons, and of course spotted pythons. And these guys are unbelievably beautiful. The thing about the spotted pythons is compared to the children's and Stimson's, is that really kind of they're darker and they actually have much more contrast with the spotted, hence the name spotted pythons, right? But again, almost the same exact animal as far as size, temperament, everything like that. These guys are gonna get, you know, maybe three foot long, somewhere in that range, about the size of a quarter, somewhere in that range. So they're really cool little small pythons. And I've said it a million times, if you're ever thinking about getting a smaller python, but you want something different than a ball python, uh, these guys are really good. Whether it's a children's, a spotted, or a Simpsons, doesn't matter, but look at how absolutely incredible these guys. And we've had a banger of a year, so we have a lot of these little babies. We just have to get them started eating, and they'll be up on the website. As there's that ominous lizard behind me, baby Kush, of course, which is one of the scarier animals here at the Reptarium. I've got an absolutely unscary animal here that I have really showcased you guys. You guys know I like to show everything that we have here. This is actually Jasper. We've had him for, gosh, I don't know, a year and a half or so. And this is an African fat tail gecko. They're kind of similar to leopard geckos, but of course they're from Africa, whereas leopard geckos are from Afghanistan and Pakistan and stuff like that. But nevertheless, pretty similar temperament, pretty similar care. The only difference is you can't really keep these guys in groups. Like you can keep four or five female leopard geckos together. These guys kind of fight a little bit, so you have to keep them separate but nevertheless Jasper is a male and he is absolutely wonderful down in the dungeon you know what time it is egg time and we're gonna go ahead and start with this pastel female here and uh, it's just a pastel female but I love the male that was bred to this little monkey right here which is actually a pin red stripe yellow belly just a really cool combination putting pastel into this one who doggy that's gonna be amazing and it looks like mama's not happy at all. 
Whoa, come on, mama. It's all right, we're just gonna have to be really careful to get her off her eggs without getting bit here. Ooh, she is on fire. Hey, come on, little girl. It's a beautiful clutch of eggs, though. Look at that. Who doggy, I tell you what. But she is fired up. She's like, I'm protecting my eggs. Whoa, come on, mom. It's all right, I got you. Whoa. Tell you what, these girls get upset when you steal their eggs. There's no doubt about it, but it is best for her because it's gonna get her back on food quick. We're gonna have a higher hatch rate with these eggs. It's all a good thing. And again, we could get some lemon blast red stripe yellow bellies. Oh my gosh. I hope that the odds are good and we'll find out in 57 days. We have two, four, six, eight beautiful eggs right here. Obviously these guys are piled up, so I'm gonna have to tear these eggs off right here just to set them down, but uh, looking good. One more clutch to pull today. This next female is actually a double hat albino clown ball python. It was bred to an albino clown. And it looks like this mama's not happy either. She does have one little slugger out over here. There might be a slug or two in there. I can't tell until I get her off her eggs what she's got. Oh, come on, mom. It's okay. It's all right. It's all right. You don't have to bite me. I promise. I'm okay. All right. Yep. Looks like a couple more bad eggs, but also some good eggs in here too. And again, this is a double head albino clown. Bred to albino clown, meaning that on average, one in four of these eggs should be an albino clown. And then of course, we'll get some clown head albinos and the other ones will be double head for clown. So we'll go ahead and take these eggs out of here, see what we have. Again, it looks like we have some good ones and some bad ones. So all in all, we had four slugs and we have two, four, five good eggs. Not exactly great fertility, but still five good eggs. I'll take it. Hopefully we'll get one one or two albino clowns in there, some clowns hat for albinos and some double head albino clowns. So all in all, mama, you did very well. Always updating you when clutches hatch out. This was actually that calico clutch that was just bred to a normal. We have two normal ball pythons here, nothing to it. Both of them hatch out, but they're both kind of cuddling back in their eggs a little bit. And then we have the two calicos, right? Now this is a, kind of a little bit of a lower expression calico, but I've said this before, that orange and pink color that you're seeing right there is gonna actually turn white when it gets older. So that one's not bad. It's not a terrible one, but it's not as good as this one. This one is definitely a very high quality one where you have lots and lots of oranges and pinks in it. So when this one gets older, it's gonna be an absolute ripper. All the sides are gonna be white and really good. And interestingly enough, with the calico and sugar stuff, they typically always have that black backing right here. You see it in both of them, right? Where you have that black line that goes down their back where the saddles basically form. Whereas here you see that the normals more have circles and saddles, right? That's another expression of that sugar or calico gene. But these guys stretched out and should look amazing here in another six months. Cool clutch here. We actually have seven eggs to cut. Should be some really beautiful babies because the parents were pretty awesome. The female was the stinger bee, which is an enchi spider. She was bred to this pastel enchi yellow belly. So again, you know, with that pastel, we got super enchi stuff. We got yellow belly. We got, you know, all kinds. I mean, this is going to be amazing. Let's just jump into it. Egg number one. Let's see what we're going to get. Uh, this should be some really pretty baby snakes in this. I don't see any ugly snakes coming out of this one. And right off the rip, we uh, we actually missed the one thing that I didn't expect. This is actually just a spider entry. So I was thinking all that pastel stuff was gonna make it look really popping and stuff like that. But we just literally hit a spider entry, which is okay. That's what they would call a stinger bee, just like the mom. So second egg. But I really wanna get that entry, the pastel, the spider, all that stuff going yellow belly. And that's one of them right there. Wow, whoa, wow. Now that is beautiful. I'm not 100% sure. I mean, just the reduction of pattern in this is insane. This is definitely an enchi. It's definitely a pastel. It's definitely a spider. I believe it's a yellow belly. So I think this is the all gene animal, but the reduction of pattern is crazy. It almost looks like a super enchi, which, oh, well, that makes sense, right? Because we have a pastel enchi yellow belly. So this is a super enchi. Wow, that is incredible. That's a super enchi bumblebee yellow belly. Holy moly, that is a beautiful snake. So that's what I was hoping to hit right off the rip. Egg number two did it. We still have five eggs to go. So who knows what else we might get in these next five eggs. We have, all right, this is really just another pretty ammo. We missed on the pastel side, but it looks like this is probably a super enchi spider. Uh, still really reduction of animal. The pastel really makes it pop, but without the pastel, still a really gorgeous snake. Next up. See what we got. Let's see what we got. Hmm, what do we have here? 
This is a weird egg. This is a weird one to have. I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it's, it's definitely, maybe it's a real dark pastel. Hard to say. It doesn't look like we hit the entry, which is really weird because entry was on both sides. So I think we have just kind of a dark pastel that's not very pretty, to be honest with you, which is a, a little bit of a disappointment. But that happens, I guess. That's the way it goes. Three eggs to go. Come on, I need some more of those bright, beautiful babies, you know, that are just wowzers. Uh, and again, we kind of missed again. Again, another Enchi spider or super Enchi spider. So we've been hitting those, but we're missing on the pastel side. We've got two eggs to go. I'm hoping that we hit at least one more of those really wild pastel -y animals. Let's go ahead and see what we got. And I don't want anyone to think that I get disappointed with any baby because I'm always excited about every single baby we had. And this is another just beautiful animal here. This is definitely a super Enchi pastel. Looks like maybe a yellow belly in here too. Really beautiful pattern. Wow. I can't wait till this one hatches out because it's got some ridiculous patterns on it. That thing, that thing's a ripper. That's going to be amazing. One egg to go. You guys know I like to end on good stuff. So let's hope this egg is a ripper for sure. Re regardless of what it is, I'm going to be happy. But I would certainly love to see something crazy in here. And what do we have here? Ah, looks like we missed again. This one looks like maybe just an Enchi ball python. Doesn't look like a yellow belly, doesn't look like anything. So I didn't end on the good one, but we did get the second egg was the creme de la creme, that beautiful ammo. When these hatch out, I can't wait to show you it. It's gonna be absolutely incredible. Other than that, we did hatch out a bunch of cool Enchi stuff, so I'm not complaining. Uh, that's it for egg cutting. Baby Kluber's continue to hatch, and this is pretty cool here. This is a mosaic Cal King. Of course, it's that black and white Cal, but this is kind of the perfect array of what they can turn into, right? This is like a black and white banded Cal King, and that's how it all started. And then we started breeding a little bit of aberrant ones that look kind of like this. They started to look like this. And then the more and more we bred them, we started getting animals that look like this, right? That are polygenically like this. And then you even have some that come out that are a little of both, right? A little bandit, a little striped, a little mosaic. But the idea was to always get to these animals here. Mosaics like this or big tire track mosaics like that. So this is the perfect example of generation after generation of breeding. And this kind of expressed all of those generations there from the banded all the way to the end result which i think is super cool continuing on with the unboxing of all the crazy stuff that you guys sent us thank you so much for everything guys i really do appreciate it Let's see what do we have oh wait a second a surprise look at this oh, i'm gonna say a gift for you it says thank you for filling my lunch breaks with fun i stumbled across you guys in early march and i'm hooked i hope this gadget helps you next time you're in need of cleaning lucy's cage as she's not in the mood Huh. I wonder what it can be. All right, so we got a box, we got a bag, and we've got another box. Oh, some oh, kind of cleaning brush. This is dope. This is so what cool. Is so you, you oh, put this on the inside of the cage and you-, you For the glass. Gosh. I love this. This and is this such is a good. so needed. We can do this with so many of the, with yes. Diddy and Dixie, with all kinds oh, of stuff. Oh, this is awesome. I Thank am very you, excited about that because that glass oh my is gosh. the bane of my existence. Yeah. Can you put your hand in there real quick, Laura? Did it hurt? No. <laughs> But it's clean. <laughs> That's all. Thank you. This is this is dope. Thank you so much. Thank I appreciate you. it. What do we have here? We have uh, a couple boxes inside of boxes. Lori, enjoy the glass after your long day. So obviously this is for Lori. Some more notes. Well, I'm gonna go off the wall and say it's gonna be for wine. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Not all girls are made of sugar and spice and everything nice. Some girls are made of sarcasm, wine, and everything fine. Oh, Thank that is you. so... It's like you know me. That is so Lori. <laughs> that is so Lori. That's awesome. Ow. Oh, what happened? What happened? Nothing uh -huh. happened. Nothing happened. I did cut. I think I might have cut my cut. Oh, look at that. This is dope. Oh, my are you goodness. kidding me? That's crazy. Holy crap. This is dope. <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> that is awesome. I need, and I just need a throne. I need like a throne and a, and a crown and a staff. You're like, give me no, wench. Don't. Get me. No, okay, let's not do that. Okay, uh, but uh, that's awesome. Thank you so much. I love this. This, I'm assuming this is for me. Brian, uh, enjoy the glass with your favorite beverage, JP. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank so you so much. much. That that's, was so nice of you. That's awesome. I love that's it. That's crazy. Y'all heavy that I is. know, I did. That's I'm going to awesome. hit you in the head with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's dope. And 
I tell you what, I cannot wait till salt and pepper get the size of RJ. They are absolutely amazing animals. If you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see a playlist of me feeding a bunch of reptiles, you can do that right over here. Roll through that playlist. Can you do me a favor? Can you support my podcast channel? It's called Checking In. Right up here, you can subscribe to it. On this side, you can subscribe to this blog channel. Turn your post notifications on. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.